this area is very active tectonically and we have to prepare ourselves for that. Geologically, we map the faults and the active fault across the country. We also develop early warning system based on a location of a seismic stations along the Dead Sea Rift and we call it the seismic fence. We study cave deposits because cave deposits, spilosems, are excellent paleoclimate archives. They are protected from erosion and they supply continuous record. We slice a spilosem and we expose the gross lamina. We drill and each lamina we can date it by using the uranium thorium dating method, using the multi collector ICPMS, which we have in the laboratory of the geological survey, and we study in detail the isotopic composition of the oxygen and carbon of the calcium carbonate. Our main goal is to improve the resolution of our study from paleoclimate reconstruction in order of centuries and decades to annual and even to seasonal variations, and uh, we do it by using the most advanced techniques such as the confocal microscope and the iron probe which we do with our colleagues in the United States. The main implication of our research is differentiating between natural climate variations and many induced climate changes superimposed on these variations. The Dead Sea is quite unique. It is located in the Rome Shape Graben uh, along the Dead Sea Rift Valley. It is the most saline water body in the world. It's the lowest surface on Earth and it evolved over millions of years uh, through evaporation of seawater, of water rock interaction, and accumulation of salts from uh, runoff water, which eventually also evaporated and left behind their constituents, which led to precipitation of uh, various evaporitic minerals. The Geological Survey continuously monitors the changes in the Dead Sea in terms of the composition of the lake, the salinity, processes in the water body itself of the annual stratification and overturn. Eventually, the idea is to model the entire system, both the physical processes and the geochemical processes, which will then provide us better possibilities to forecast the evolution of the lake. You can see the ruins of a recreation village of the Kibbutz and Gedi, which uh, was abandoned uh, in 1995 because sinkholes started to open here. The basic mechanism of sinkhole formation accelerated significantly due to the drop of the Dead Sea water and the associated groundwater. This level drop caused the exposure of the salt layer to fresh water. We are trying to model the sinkhole development by looking at the subsidence and trying to predict what is the depth and what is the volume and the dimension of the layer that is subsiding above the cavity. We use a technique that is called the Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, INSAR, which is based on radar satellites that circle the Earth, image the Earth from the same spot exactly and now we can track millimeter subsidence from 600 kilometers in the atmosphere. Just using the surface measurements, we can estimate the subsidence at the subsurface and then predict where the next sinkholes will occur because the sinkholes do not occur just above at the center part of the subsidence bowl as they intuitively expected, but on the circumference.
the long term retreat rates, we used the historical boulder lines that are now partly submerged and we dated using the OSL uh, method the beach rock that grew on the blocks that fell from the cliff. Using this uh, methodology, we found out much lower retreat rates, which are a few centimeters per year, meaning order of magnitude uh, slower than the uh, rate that was calculated from the aerial photos. We at the Geological Survey of Israel think that this major engineering effort is not needed. It will change the natural appearance of the cliff. It will uh, damage the natural habitat. And according to our new findings and the lower retreat rate, we think that this whole issue needs to be replanned.